everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Wednesday. Happy hump day. Today I'm gonna to do something just a little bit different, and I've been thinking about several videos like this. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so that I'll know that you like these types of videos. And today what I thought I would do is give you five tips. I probably could do a few more, and you know me, I might throw a few more in there but I wrote down five tips to make or help you look glamorous that these tips are gonna be easy and they're gonna be inexpensive. Things that you can do to just up your look a little bit and make you look, you know, like you've really got it put together and a little bit glam. Now I'm not, it's not gonna be eyelashes, it's not gonna be wing liner, it's not gonna be curled hair, it's not gonna be red lipstick or anything like that. I might do a video on that later, but this is gonna be like everyday glam, you know, just things that you can easily do to look good every day. Okay, the first one I have is a black dress. And you guys know that I love little black dresses. There is a reason that everyone has little black dress on their list of, you know, all style tips or style articles always say a little black dress. And they are usually talking about to wear to cocktail parties and stuff like that. But I think that black dresses are just one of the easiest things that you can put in your everyday, you know, attire to make you look put together and polished every day. Now they can be a black maxi dress. It could be, you know, just a black t-shirt dress. And I am going to, before I post this video, find some good, you know, inexpensive everyday black dresses to put down below. You guys know I buy those ones from Zara that are $20 and I probably have, goodness, I probably have five or six of them because they get, after you wash them a couple of times, they get a little bit more worn. So I try to just save some that I don't wash a lot in case I want to look a little bit better. But, and they're just so easy. I mean, you can throw on that black dress on, before you even take the kids to school. And it's just so easy and it looks so good. Now, if you don't want to wear a dress, also, if you wear like a black tank top and black pants, if you really want to go for it, wear like a black cami and black um, dress pants. If you want to do like I do, wear a black tank top or a black cami top and some nice, not faded, not worn out, like black yoga pants. My favorite ones are from New York and Company. They are like a ponte knit, so they're not real flimsy. You can't see through them and they've got a slight flare. You can get them in a petite, a medium, and a long length. So I even wear those in the you know, sometimes I'll wear them with a, an ankle boot and a long blazer. I've worn them with wedges and I wear them with flip flops. I mean, they're just really good pants. And um, so I love that outfit also. Um, like I said, a maxi dress, anything. Now, if you don't wanna wear black, if you're someone that doesn't feel comfortable, another way you can do this is all one color. Like if you were to wear all white, all red, all blue, just that monochromatic look also gives you that just, a, you know, just a notch up. And even if you are running out of the house in a pair of sweatpants and a tank top, make them all one color and it will just be so much different than throwing on, you know, gray sweatpants with a black graphic tee. I mean, that, com that will come in another look that I do because every day I kind of have in my mind what do I want to look, what look am I going for that day? And it's just fun for me. Fashion is so much fun to me, fashion and makeup. It's just a way to, I don't know, I, I mean the thing to say is a way to express yourself, but it, to me it's just a feeling. It's a feeling that I have that day. So that would be number one. Number two is heels. Now I'm not talking about strappy sandals every day. I'm not even talking about a high heel wedge, even though that would be a great thing to do. I am just talking about a little bit of a heel. And today I'm wearing these, which are some of my favorite, favorite shoes. And they are Roxy. I ordered them from Amazon. They are so comfortable. And they give me just a little bit more. A heel is more than 
the shoe. It is your posture. It is the way you walk. It is the way you carry yourself. A heel just makes every outfit look better. And even if it's, you know, just a one or two inch, there's just something about it. And there are so many good looking shoes that you can get that have that little bit of a heel. Now, I'm not really talking about a whole platform heel because that kind of defeats the purpose that it that makes it a little clunky and it doesn't give your body the pitch that a heel does so if you can find a little i know that there are so many nice flip-flops that have a little bit of a heel and nice wedges dr shoals makes all those nice wedges like um those really comfortable ones that i wear like when when sheila and i went shopping on rodeo i wore those little Dr. Scholl's shoes and Brooke wears them to work and they may not be the most, you know, sexy, best looking heel, but they give you that presence. They give you that walk, the elevation, your posture, and they're comfortable. So I think that's really important. So heels, um, cat eye or big sunglasses. Now I wouldn't go with, let's see, let me grab some examples real quick. Hold on. Hey, I just grabbed these real quick. Matter of fact, I have a pile that I just took out of my car yesterday. The girl, when I was ordering at Chick-fil-A, she looked at me in the back of my car and she said, you have a lot of sunglasses. <laughs> Cause I just, I'll wear a pair and I'll leave them in the back. And so I just took these out. So they're dirty, but this is an old pair of Prada cat eye sunglasses. They're polarized. I love these. And I think they just came out with a new version of this that I want to get. Matter of fact, I'm going to look at Sunglass Hut maybe today. But um, so this is an easy cat eye. It's not extreme. It's not crazy big. It's just a good cat eye sunglasses, pair of sunglasses that are basic. And you know, you can probably find a pair of sunglasses like this at Target, um, at ASOS, at Zara, at TJ Maxx if you want. But any pair of cat eye sunglasses are going to give you that look. Any pair of oversized sunglasses like these, these are a pair of my favorites. They're Gucci. And another thing is this gradient lens. That gives you, this kind of goes into a little bit of the sexy vibe too, and a little bit more of some different vibes that I, you know, a lot of these will cross over, but I love a good gradient lens. And I, another reason I love sunglasses like this is because I will leave these on when I, like, I think I wore these, yeah, I did, to Los Angeles, and I would wear them on the plane or whatever because it was a pair of sunglasses I didn't have to keep on taking on and off because you can still see my eyes, and they're just not so dark that I felt like I could get away with it. And so this is another pair, and they do have, I got these years ago, but they do have a, a recent version of these. And then this is just a plain old big pair of sunglasses, and this is another pair of Gucci sunglasses and I love these. I mean, they are really big, but when you put these on, you're gonna look, you're just gonna have that glam look automatically. Even in the car, when, no, when they don't even see the rest of you, you're just gonna have that look when you have the oversized sunglasses on, and it's something so easy to do. Okay, number four is handbag. I think this is one of the biggest things that you can do to look glamorous and to almost look you almost look, I mean, I always thought when I first, I think the first time I really thought of this was when I wanted a Balenciaga. And what I always loved, I brought my black one down here because it's my probably most used. What I always thought of, and I will stand up to show you this, hold on. I think there's just something about having a bag just on your arm, like the little top handle bag that when you walk like this, it just automatically gives you that kind of glamorous look. Any bag, it doesn't have to, this is just one that I chose, and this is one that, probably one of my all-time favorite bags. And there's just something about it. Now this one does have the strap that you can put it over your shoulder, but to me, that's just a different look. To me, this is more of that proper or glam look, and it's something that I love. I love, this is, bag just couldn't be any easier. And I think that just gives that look. That's just an easy thing that you can do and you don't need an expensive handbag, just any bag with the top handles. This is my Louis Vuitton um, Neverfull that I'm getting ready to change out of. And you'll see this isn't the same thing. So carrying a tote, I mean, it's still, I still carry it this way because it's my usual way because putting a bag on my shoulders, I do that sometimes, but it catches my hair 
this is always just my go-to, but it just doesn't look the same with a tote or a bag that has the longer handles. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. Um, this is a dress from Reformation. I got this one. I, I showed you guys, you've seen this before, I forgot, in a try-on video, but it's the black one. It's super soft and comfortable. And um, I've just got on my flip-flops. Now this, you know, I, if I wore, you know, a pair of other pair of heels or something, it would make it a little dressier. But this, for running around during the day, is just a good look, and you look put together. Okay, so handbags. And the last one I have, number five, is, because um, I don't want to really go into makeup, because I feel like that's a different, a different look. That's something different to me. But I think lip gloss. I think if you can put on a good lip gloss, and the one I have on today, I have on, um, gosh, I thought I brought it out here. I found it. I have on Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in Mauve, which is kind of like a nude. It's, you know, like a, a mauve nude. And then the lip gloss I have on is the Milani Luminoso Lip Gloss. And so that gives you, it's inexpensive, inexpensive, inexpensive combo that will go with anything, but it gives you just that little bit of extra. I mean, you don't even have to have on eye makeup. If you have on your lip gloss and your big sunglasses and all one color and a little pair of heels and your bag, you're just going to look put together. You're going to have that glamorous look like you know what you're doing. Like you are put together. You thought about your outfit, but yet it is so easy. And then another thing I wrote, and this, these two last things I think, I think make a difference. You know, all of this stuff you might not agree with, but this is just my opinion. I think painted nails. Now, I don't think they have to be red. I don't think they have to be long. I just think when you see someone and they have taken the time to paint their nails and their nails look good, that just gives you, just it bumps you up a little notch. And gold jewelry. And I know a lot of people love silver jewelry, and it kind of depends on your skin tone. But with me, I know if I put on my gold hoops and like a big gold ring, or you could put on like one gold bracelet, I think gold bangles are going to give you a different look that we'll go into. But um, I, you know, will just try to put on my gold hoops. These are my go-tos. They're the Sheila Fajal, everybody's favorite hoop in the brush gold. These you can wear every day. And um, this is my Hear Me Roar ring from Jenny Bird. And it's my, one of my favorite just go-to statement rings. And I know that when I put these on, it's just going to give me, you know, it's just going to bump up your look just a notch. And it's just so easy. So I think all of these are very, very easy tips. And I think that just try them. Just try them. Just, I mean, I could get all of this from Walmart easily. Just go in there you could or uh target easily i almost i went to target the other night and i swear i think i could find more things in walmart these days than i can in target and um old navy would be another one that has really good little dresses probably a good little you know i know they have the wedges at walmart but i would stay in the same color family i do think that solid black is just always going to be your best bet and it's just so easy so let me know down below what your glamorous, easy, inexpensive, glamorous tips are. I also think you don't need your hair fixed. I think a low bun or a slick ponytail is another way. I do think it needs to be brushed because if you go out with your hair unbrushed, that's gonna be just a different look. And if you like this video, please let me know and we'll get into some other looks because each day, like I said, I have like a different vibe on my mind. And um, I just love that. I love having kind of like a, um, some inspiration. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.